Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here today with uh, something especially for all the newbies out there. Um, I've had so many questions about starting to make journals. Also, a lot of folks are very nervous to start a journal. So what we're going to do today is a super, um, super quick and easy journal. And I, because I want you to know anyone can do this, you know, it's just like anything else, it takes a little practice, but starting with a super easy, super quick journal is a good way to just kind of keep building your confidence. So let me say hi and hugs, hi and hugs to Robin, Paula, the Crafty Stasher, and Lisa. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so the other thing, I wanted to use things that were readily available without much cost to folks. So this is going to be my cover. It's it's from, obviously, it's an advertisement from the mail. And I've just got some different colored papers. This is a little stationery that I got at the um, thrift store and just some other little random things. Uh, this is thin scrapbooking paper that I got at Joann's on half price. So I think at half price, it was something like, I don't know, $7 or something. And so, uh, so yeah, we're gonna get started and I'm just gonna show you how easy this is. The other thing I grabbed is an old magazine. We'll see what we use from that. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to make a traveler's notebook today. And um, typically, traveler's notebooks are eight and a half by four and a half. So, we're going to cut this at eight and a half. Um, first, first, we'll cut it at nine just so that it's. So we'll, we'll cut it at nine, and then when we fold it in half, it will be our four and a half, right? So this is nine. We've got this left over to make pockets or tags with. Um, and then eight and a half, like so. And there we go, there's our cover. I am gonna collage on that, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna do that after we make it. So I'm just going to fold it in half. Why does that not look the right size to me? I think it is. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's right. Okay, so eight and a half by four and a half. I think uh, technically they're supposed to be eight and a quarter, but you know, I just do eight. Uh, I just do nine so that, you know, it's a round number. <laughs> Okay, we've already got our cover. So now we're gonna work on getting some papers to put in. Now, since this is gonna be one signature, a signature being your bundle of papers, um, I'm gonna do 15. That's typically what I do in a one signature. So our papers are they're eight and a half, which is perfect. That's going to fit in there perfectly, but they're they're longer because they're eleven inches, right? Eight and a half by eleven, and this is only um, four and a half or nine opened out. So see, you're going to have you're going to have that much hanging over. Now, on a pretty paper like this, what I'd like to do is just kind of fold over some. So that I still I still get that that pretty edge. So see now that's gonna fit in there just perfectly. It's a little shorter than what we're gonna do with these, but let's get these ready. So I just grabbed, I've got some yellow paper, some blue, some pink, and some other color that I don't know. It's called granite or something. But the granite was um being recycled at my old office and so guess who grabbed it <laughs> okay so this is nine inches right 
So what I want to do is make this eight and a half inches. So we're going to go eight. It's already eight and a half. We're going to cut it at eight and a half. That way it won't hang out our edge. So eight and a half is right there. Now I will keep these to make a little booklet out of at, at another time. So there we go. So then we're just going to get all of those folded and they will be able to go in just as they are. Um, And so we're creating the signature right now is what we're up to. And um, I'm a little fumbly, aren't I? So, yeah, so there we go. There is, you know, five pages or something of our signature. Let's go like this. We'll put some... Um, more plain papers in between them or, or different, different sort of papers. And then we have this one too, right? So we'll put those together. Alrighty then. Then I just grabbed a few other pieces. Um, these are out of a notebook or something. They're just random pieces, but I thought they'd be fun because they're a little bit skinny. Now, are they eight and a half. They're taller than eight and a half. So let's just chop it down to eight and a half. It's just a half inch too big. So then this will be kind of fun because it will only go halfway like that. It's fun to have a variety of, um, of heights and widths and such. I think I might do one more of those just, just cause it's fun. And eight and a half. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to put that one in front of the pink one, I think. Okay, there we go. These came out, these are, they're kind of a, like a, Oh, I don't know. A handmade paper filling thing. They came out of a notebook. So I thought, why not put a couple of those in here? So how about we put those in front of the yellow ones? Just put a couple in there. And then, um, there we go. Okay, this one's for another project Some, someday. We've got a few extras. Okay, so then this is a fun little Pennsylvania Railroad transportation sheet. I am, let's see, how are we going to do this? I think it might have to flop over too. Or, no, it's good. It's good. It's the right width. So I'm just going to put that maybe in front of this. Why not? Like that. Okay. And here's a beautiful old music sheet. Thought we'd put one of those in. And um, again, it's going to be a bit tall, so I think I can... Um, yeah, I'll take a little off the bottom and a little off the top, and we ought to be okay. So we'll just take that. I'll save this to be stamped on at a, you know, for another project. Okay, so then eight and a half here, it's right there. Just get a little bit off of that and then we'll fold it in half and stick it in our signature. Okay, um, where would we like it? How about right here? Okay. Alrighty then, this is a bit big. I think I'll save that for another project. Okay, so that gives us what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, kind of. Okay, so something else you can do to, uh, you know, have it be cheaper or whatever is use a magazine. 
pages instead of the um, instead of like scrapbook paper or something. So this is a old Daphne's diary magazine. Oh, how pretty is that? Let's use that. Um, and so I've been definitely been known to use them a time or two. Okay. We'll put one of those in there too, since we didn't use that other big form. Okay. I'm just going to even up the edge here. Like so. And then this is so pretty. I think it's another one I might want to fold. Let's see. So is this eight and a half? Oh, it's a little bit bigger than eight and a half. So I'm going to take just the tiniest bit off there so that it's the right height. Okay, then we will um, go ahead and let's... I think I want this in the middle of the signature is what I think I want. So I'm going to kind of measure this on my board-ish. And I'm going to go right about there. And fold that back. And then um, if you wanted to, you could make that a pocket. You could put glue here and here and make that a pocket. Whatever whatever it speaks to you so isn't that pretty okay now as the cover of my signature I need actually two more pages I am going to use a couple pieces of this this is eight and a half by eleven so it's kind of like ready to go let's pick um yeah. it, this is fairly neutral paper which is great um, let's use this. This is happy. Yeah, we'll use that. Okay, so this is eight and a half by 11. Right, so I need to cut it. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, let's cut it at, uh, at eight and a half because it's going to be on the inside, right? So this is fun. We've got this that we can put with our stuff to make a little um, notepad. Okay. So we're going to put that there. Then maybe should we have one more piece of something like that? Um, let's see. Are we fitting well? Ooh, that's hanging over a little bit. That's the middle one. Um, that happens because as, as you stack your um, signature, what happens is it, you know, it goes out like this. So that was a little too long. No biggie. We just refold it and we're good to go. Okay. So so let's let's grab one more piece. Let's grab one more piece here of something. Um, there's some other color of those flowers. I don't want to have green again. Do we have any blue? It's peachy. Gold. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's use, let's use this one. Okay, so this one I'm going to put, mm, I don't know, probably midway through the journal somewhere. And then I've kind of got some pattern scattered throughout. So again, we're going to go eight and a half to cut it the proper length. Okay, and then we'll put that kind of midway because we've got this pretty paper that I didn't have in there, right? This pretty paper and this, and then let's just go right about 
right about here. And that gives us our 15 pages. So there we go. Okay, now as I said, I'm gonna collage this. And I think what I'm gonna do is use some of this paper just to collage the outside and the inside. Um, and I, I'm thinking, well, I don't want to take too much, like I don't want to go over my hour collaging. So what I'm going to do is put a strip down each side like there, and then, um, and then we'll be able to just go ahead and sew in our signature. Okay, so let's find something. This is fine. Very, very neutral. And what would be fun down the spine of the back? You know what would be kind of fun is this one. Okay. Alrighty, so I'm just going to rip these um, to be the right size. I don't need to use my cutter because I don't need a perfect edge. But I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to rip this one so that the, the pattern shows. And I'm just lining this up so it's straight here. And then I'm lining up my ruler on this line that goes here. So theoretically, it should be fairly straight. Okay, let's see. I'll make a pile of my scraps too. Okay, so this is eight and a half, so I need this to be eight and a half tall, don't I? Actually, I'm going to leave it as is and bend it over. So let's do that. Okay. Just grabbing a little glue book and a glue stick, and we're just going to glue that on. So far, so good. We've got our eight and a half by nine piece of paper folded in half. So our journal will be eight and a half by um, eight and a half by four and a half. Let's see, let's just go right there. I'm just gonna. What I'm gonna do is just flip that around. I want the I want the edge of the cover to be. Um, to have paper wrapped around it. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, and then we're gonna just take this one and kind of do the same thing. And that's just so I can sew this in. And then we'll, then we'll decorate afterwards. I just wanna make sure I got the sewing in part in. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. That just really snuck up on me. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go with this line. Yeah, that's about the same, not quite. So, okay. So then, um, this is eight and a half. I'm actually going to take a bit off just because I've wrapped around already. I don't want it to be like super bulky. Super bulky. So, yeah, so see that will... That will go nicely there. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think we have plenty of time to finish this, but I just kind of wanted to make sure that I got the next steps of sewing in done for you. Okay, so let's just line that up kind of. There we go. Okay, so... While we're getting ourselves ready to sew in the signature, I'm just going to let that dry a little bit. No, excuse my reach. I'm going to just give it a little, a little of this action. These are available at Triple V Vintage on Etsy. I saw that she's carrying them. She's the it's, Veronica's the one that gave it to me. Gave that to me. Okay, so. We're ready. Now, here's what I wanted to tell you. For new people, people just starting, 
I have this book binding kit on my Etsy shop, but we're gonna, um, so it's in my, under my favorite things on my Etsy shop. And it's a great kit. It's got, you know, it's got waxed linen thread. It's got the pokey tool. It's got everything you need. But you don't have to have that. So, you know, um, you do need an awl. It's called A-W-L, a pokey tool, like this. You need that. And you need, um, I think mine is a darning needle and a darning needle. And um, I have this nifty little book cradle that I can poke my holes with. I'll show you in a minute. But you don't need that either. You can use an old paper bag. This is what I used for years before I got this. This is from Crafty Cat USA on Etsy. They do it on a 3D printer. It's cool. Anyway, but you can use this. That's what I used for years. And I just held my signature like this. And it the book cradles easier. But if you don't want to spend the money, then you can do this. Um, yeah, so, so four binder clips and all and this. And then let's talk thread. So I showed you in the little kit that's in my um, Etsy, there is uh, waxed linen thread. But I got this thread at a state sale, a garage sale or something. It's crochet thread. I'm going to use this on this so that you can just see that with fairly simple tools and um, items, you can do this. You can do it. Okay, so let's um, let's bend this again. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my um, oh you know <laughs> gosh <laughs> the word has escaped me bone folder my bone folder I'm gonna use my bone folder and we are just gonna get that nice and down like that. But if you don't have a bone folder, you can use the edge of your ruler, you know, you can, you can adapt. Okay, so here is our little signature. We are going to open it to the middle, like so. We are going to put it in to our cover, making sure that everything is, is very straight along the edges. Now, you might need to check if you've got some shorter pages and just make sure they're positioned where you want them and they are so that's good okay so then we're just gonna put our binder clips i like to put it on on this side and then i like to go opposite it just seems to work well for me as far as getting this in here now I say that and it's going crooked on me. Okay, let's. Okay, let's try that again, Kale. Okay. All righty. Then we're going opposite. And then I'm going to go opposite again. And opposite again. Okay, now our pages are nice and secure. Um, so when I used the old book, what I would do is I would just hold these like this. And we're going to do that rather than use the book cradle because I wanted to show you what to do if, you know, if you don't want to buy a book cradle. So I'm going to poke a hole right in the center and I'm just going to go down. Boom. See, it's, it's gone through there and it's just, it's just gone through my little, um, my little paperback book a little bit. So I'm going to go about an inch and a half ish inch, inch and a half down. I just eyeball it 
and I'm holding my pages up in this V shape so that the hole goes straight down the spine rather than kind of veering off to one side or the other. Okay, so there you go. Our holes are poked. I will show you here. So see here, this just holds it for you so you're not having to hold it into a V and then you just poke, poke, poke. Okay. Now, since I'm using this crochet thread and it's rather thin, I'm going to do a double length of it. But what you do is go three times the length of your pages. One, two, three. Now, if you're using the wax linen, that's all you would do. But since I'm not, I'm going to double this just to make it a little bit, a little bit more um, sturdy. Okay, and then I am going to go ahead and thread the needle. Well, let's, let's use this side since it's be easier. Okay, and then I'll just leave myself a little tail. Now I'm done with the thread. Okay, we're going to take our book. And I've been told I do this differently than other people, but um, in my book, if, as long as you get the job done, <laughs> it's just fine. But so you're going to learn the Gale version of the three hole pamphlet stitch, this is called, because I have three holes. So, okay, we're going in the center. I'm gonna hold my thread with my thumbs and go in the back here. And um, so outside in on this one. Okay, and then I'm holding my thread and I'm going back through the middle hole. I'm kind of going at an angle because you don't want to catch the prior thread because if you do, you can't pull Pull your stitching tight. Okay, now we're going out to in again. There, and we've gone through all of our holes. I'm going to just take my needle and thread it through so that I can put this on the other side. And then we're going to pull it tight. And we're going to tie a tight knot. And I like to double knot. Now, a couple things you can do uh, aesthetic wise is you can leave your leave your threads like this. You can cut them off so they're small. You can um, tie charms on them or you can just tie it in a bow, which is what I'm going to do for this one. Like so. Just going to snip that so it's not a loop. And there we go. Un book and you've got your book it's that simple guys I know you can do it I know you can do it okay there we go there's our little book now we're gonna do some we're just gonna do some collaging on it now let's see these go in this one I'm gonna tidy up my sewing in stuff and We'll just go ahead and so um, I hope this is helpful to those folks that have been sort of, oh, I want to make one, but I'm, I haven't made one. I don't know if I can do it. You can. I, you really, really can. Okay, so I think I'll actually open this kind of this way and we're just going to do some collaging. So what I do, here's my that, here's my glue, and I'm just going to use the papers from the pack, and then, um, because um, this is actually a new pack of paper to me, I just, I just got it on sale. I want some of this, and I want to save that other for a notebook. 
Ooh, let's use some of this. And this is nice. And where's our little, ooh, look at this one. Oops. Isn't that a fun one? Okay, let's. Some of this would be fun, this little this stuff. That would be fun too. Okay, we'll start with that. See where we get to. We might have to grab, oh, I like that one too. <laughs> I keep seeing on the cover, I keep seeing other ones I like. Where is that? Here it is. We might add that in the mix too. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am just, I'm going to get my tear ruler so that it's a little, if this has a bumpy edge. Once again, this is available on my favorite things too. And um, just so it's got a little more jaggedy of an edge. So let's just start ripping. I'm just going to rip this in half. And maybe we'll just kind of do that with a few pages. Um, I'm going to do this one in thirds. And then we'll just let's do the next one. I do really like this music. Sometimes when you get real music, you know, not scrapbook paper, but real music, sometimes the... Um, Oh, I should know what that's called. But the um, lines, <laughs> uh, sometimes they're really like um, far apart. And so they're hard to get them to show on your... Okay. What about do we do a long skinny one on this? Just rip up a few and then we'll we'll rip them as we need them too. But okay, there we go. Alrighty, well we'll just glue those on and see how we do. Okay. So in an hour, we're going to have a little traveler's notebook and you could, you could too. You could have one in an hour. I, I know you can do it. No, you can. And just remember everybody started somewhere, you know, started making their, their journals at some point. It's not like it's not like everybody knew how to do it from the get go, you know. I think with this, I'm going to I'm going to put it like that. Um So, I think I'm going to rip that down. Gosh, my husband's out pounding away because um our carpenter that's doing our deck left and there's um I don't know there's a some sort of stepping stone or something in our in our yard that needs to go and so my husband's doing it for him just to help the process along you'll notice I'm just cutting at an angle each edge so that when this wraps around, theoretically, it's a nice clean corner. And it is. Nice. Okay. So there's a little, there's a little hint too to, okay. I think I'm going to go like that. And then um, I'll get a little piece to fill in there. 
And I'm kind of thinking I might look in the magazine and see if I see something that would, that I think would be a fun focal point for the front or something. Okay, cool. All right, so we need to do down here. Let's let's introduce some of this into the mix. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. I haven't even looked at my watch to see if we're running out of time, but I'm, it's because I'm having fun. <laughs> okay, let's go here and fold it over. Okay. Okay, so we have two kind of little bitty spots. Don't want that there. Don't want that. Maybe this here. Yeah, let's just kind of cut a little piece of that and do that. And then we'll figure out something for the bottom. Put the raggedy edge there. And see, then we're just going to have to collage right in the middle, kind of, of that. Okay. Something for there. Um, I would like, I think there's some, you know, kind of yellowish. I can put, oh, here we go. This one. Let's just make a kind of thin one of that. Yeah. Oh, I should have made it bigger. I'll go this way. Yeah, because I want to wrap around both edges, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll get that gluey and then we'll. We're going to have to cut the corner again at the angle. And of course, instead of um, instead of this mailer, you could always you could always use scrap, uh, heavier scrapbooking paper. And then you don't have to do this collaging part. Or you could say you don't get to do this. <laughs> Because it's fun. Okay, and we'll just flip those up like that. Okay, super happy, super happy with that. Okay, let's do the other side. How are we doing? Let me see. Oh, we are, we are golden. Okay, let's put that one up there. I don't know if that's nope. That's not where I put it before. Want to be want to be a little more random than that, you know? So once again, we're gonna, um, we're gonna have our little corner cut that we're gonna need to do. <laughs> I can hear my husband's recliner. Okay, he did that, now he's in the recliner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Okay. Okay. Did that one. Um, let's let's go like down that. Let's just do that. So, uh new folks any questions that you have about what we've what we've done today please just um ask them below i'll do my best to answer um i need a new glue page my glue page is disintegrating um yeah just let me know if you if you have any questions because i am just Happy, happy to answer. I need to make this more jaggedy. So, we're going to do it. Um, 
yeah, I was just hoping that showing you a, a quick little project would would get you going and you'd ha be set to have some fun making journals. Um, I do have I do have two older videos um, on my channel that I did years ago that are beginner tutorials and I'll try and remember to link those in the description box below. One is, I think one is a traveler's notebook and the other one is, um, the other one is a, a big bag journal. So those might be fun too for you to check out. But you can do it. You really, really can. Um, and once you start, you're going to go, I don't know why I was so nervous about doing this. Because you're just going to rock it. You are. You're going to rock it. Okay. Do our little corner here. And then that's it for us on the corners. We don't have to do any more. That'll do it. That'll do it. All right. So we just have one little spot right there. Should we do some music right there? Yeah, I think so, but I need to make it a, make it a little jaggedy. <clears throat> so there we go. do that all righty then all we have is a little bit in here so ooh, I'm just gonna pop that right there hopefully use up kind of the rest of my little pieces that I cut already but they'll they'll work just fine for any collage um, that's what's kind of nice about this thinner paper from Joann's is it really does. It just, it works fine on um, collage, whereas a lot of scrapbook paper is too thick. Not sure why that was so goopy right there. But, okay. Okay, let's put that across there. I need to not press so hard when it's, this glue sticks particularly soggy for one, for one reason or another. Okay, so let's go this way. Oh, that's just really crooked. Try that again. There we go. Okay, and then that little piece can go right there. Done. And we'll see what we've got on the other side. Then we'll kind of flip through this too so you can see what see what we did. There we go. Look at how fun that is. Okay. Over here, let's just plop that down there. I think I better have a new blue page. This is a super old book. And sometimes the super old books, when you use them to glue on, the, um, it's like the little fibers of the paper are weak and so they get on what you're gluing. Okay. that let's cover that whole bit now can we do this yes we can and we've got it covered 
Maybe that's where the saying, you've got it covered, comes from. <laughs> Collaging. <laughs> I doubt it, but it kind of makes me happy to think maybe. Okay. There it is, guys. Look at that. Isn't that so fun? And then comes the decorating with the pockets and everything. And um, I've got a playlist called Making Ephemera. So there's lots of ideas there. How fun is that? Just a little, just a little traveler's notebook. A few pockets to put your, um, your fun little tickets and things from your adventure in. That's, so... That's all that has to be done with that. So, yeah, so there it is. And um, you could you could just use a little, let's do that. You could just use a little leftover twine or something, or um, here's a perfect piece of seam binding. To close it up, we'll just, um, let's cut off that thread first, first things first, because we don't need that. Um, now what I would do is I would loop this through your signature thread there, and then it'll, and then it will easily stay with the book. But there you go. You can just go like this, tie it up and in a nice bow and there you go now I did kind of want to look and I think we have a bit of time yes I did kind of want to look through my magazine and see if I might want some sort of focal point on here and I might not I'm really liking it like it is but this is such a fun magazine that has a lot of a lot of cool photos and stuff in it those are some envelopes, I think. Um, I mean, like that one. You could put, cut that out and put it there. I'm not going to because I'm really kind of in love with it the way it is. <laughs> Ooh, those are fun matchbox things. Oh, and look at these. Ooh, this one would be good. Okay, I just changed my mind. Let's see what it will look like. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the tear ruler and I'm gonna go up to the color. I don't think I want the white frame around it. This is a little bit of William Morris wallpaper I don't know I'm not I, I like it better plain I don't know what's wrong with me, but we'll use that for collage <laughs> some other time. We could use this little bit for collage too. Let's just neaten that up a little. So, yeah, so old magazines are a great source of stuff to use. Should we just cut this up too and put... Ooh, we could do both, I think. Right. Just since I'm at it, I'm just going to get this ready to be a piece of cloth, too. And then this little birdie is kind of cool, too. Okay. 
Okay, little collage fodder there. Um, I am having a thought though. I'm having a thought about, what about we make those pockets? That a pocket. I'm gonna make that a pocket. It's pretty, you know, it's thin. So what I'm gonna do is put it on some book page to thicken it up. Well, I sure hope this was helpful, guys. If, um, like I say, if you have any questions at all, just just ask. I will answer if I can. If I know the answer, I will answer. If I don't know the answer, I will tell you I don't know the answer. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do just a tiny little clip at the top. So we know it's a pocket. And let's... I was actually thinking on the cover too, I'd like to, um, I'd like to do some distressing around the edges. I just think it frames things out so nicely. Okay, let's just put that little pocket there. I love that. That's where that was meant to be. just filled my bottle and it's very it's very runny right about there oops can't be getting glue on my mat I've been so careful not to get glue on my mat okay well we've got a little pocket I didn't plan on that um, but that is that's fun I was thinking about, um, uh, I'm thinking about one on the back too. Um, this looks like it's about the right size. I was going to say, yes, it is. We're going to back that as well because this is such thin scrapbooking paper. Okay. Alrighty, and then I um, was also thinking with a couple of these scraps I might of the scrapbook paper, I might do a little something on the inside. But yeah, we're to the fun part. And this little journal is going to go with my unfinished stuff because it's not decorated. So we'll be working on it in the next little while because I... Um, on a mission this year to finish a lot of things, so. Ooh, that looks cool. Distressed, it makes it look like, like really old music. Okay, well we have a front pocket and a back pocket. That's progress. Like a so. There we go. So, that is it, guys. That's all she takes to make a journal. And you can do it. You can, you can. Oh, I did that a little crooked, didn't I? I can pull it up. Well, sorry guys, gotta redo that. It's best to be straight. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> and just case in point, <laughs> there's nothing that you mess up that can't be fixed. And sometimes when you mess up, it's for the best because then you come up with something else that you wouldn't have otherwise. Okay, guys, there's our cute little traveler's notebook 
journal, all made really in less than an hour. And you can do it. You can do it. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes too. In your comments, in videos to come, tell me, tell me how it went for you. So thanks everybody for joining me today. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.